You've heard the word before, caldera. Like in the Yellowstone caldera, or the Kaklauya caldera, but what does it actually mean? For geologists, this term refers to the type of volcano as well as the structure, resulting from volcanic activity, and this term is different from the term crater. Crater is a general term, referring to a closed depression in the ground that may have some possible origin, either volcanic or otherwise. By strict definition, a caldera is a type of crater, but calderas are distinguished by their large size and their specific relationship to volcanic collapse. Yellowstone is a caldera, an eruption that occurred 631,000 years ago largely emptied the magma chamber and the ground collapsed into the resulting void. The Yellowstone caldera is huge about 70 by 45 kilometers, 43 by 28 miles. In volcanology parlance, a small collapse perhaps a few hundred meters wide is a crater, but a large collapse generally more than one kilometer, 0.6 miles wide is a caldera. The guidelines are unclear regarding the size of craters and calderas. The point is that the caldera is bigger and the crater is smaller. Craters often form as a result of small evacuations of magma from shallow surfaces, such as the numerous vent craters scattered across the surface of Kaklauya in Hawaii, while calderas result from the partial emptying of a volcano's main magma chamber. Craters can also surround the neck of a volcano. When material is ejected during an explosion, such as craters in many volcanic cones. A spectacular example of a caldera is found in Oregon. About 7,700 years ago, Mount Mazama was the site of a powerful eruption, whose ash covered much of Western North America. Mazama's ashes were even found in sediment cores, collected from the bottom of Yellowstone Lake. The peak of the Mazama volcano collapsed into an empty magma chamber, leaving a large surface depression that eventually filled with rainwater and became what we know today as Crater Lake. Yes, it's a bit confusing. The landform that forms Crater Lake is a caldera. Caldera Lake might be a more accurate name for the place, but it doesn't have the same meaning Calderas are not always formed from powerful explosive eruptions. Large depressions at the tops of many shield volcanoes, such as those on Hawaii, are also calderas. In fact, in 2018, a large eruption of lava at Kaklaui, a volcano partially emptied the magma chamber and caused the summit to collapse, forming a smaller caldera within the larger summit caldera. The collapse did not occur instantly but rather occurred little by little, with isolated subsidence events, punctuated by continuous sinking of the ship. Over the course of about three months, the peak collapsed more than 500 meters, 1,600 feet. Similar collapses occurred in Bargarbuga, Iceland to 01 for 2015, Pitten de la Fornes, Reunion Island 2007, Mikajima, Japan 2000, and Fernandina, Galapagos 1968. To geologists, caldera can also refer to a style of volcanism, and Yellowstone is a perfect example. Never before has a large volcanic edifice dominated the landscape at Yellowstone. The views of Mount Mazama were unprecedented before the volcano collapsed. In contrast, Yellowstone is a volcanic field with numerous eruptive vents scattered across the landscape, reflecting the large and complex magma reservoirs that lie underground and fuel the eruptions that form the caldera. So, Yellowstone is not a stratovolcano. This is not a shield volcano. It's not a cinder cone or a lava dome or a coulee or a plug. Rather, it suggests a style of volcanism that includes rare large explosive eruptions associated with caldera collapse, preceded and followed by smaller eruptions, 
Other caldera complexes in the U.S. include Vales, in New Mexico and Long Valley in California, outside the U.S. Caldera complexes are characterized by Topo in New Zealand and Campi Flegrai in Italy. It's not an elegant term, but now you know how geologists use the term caldera to describe a large crater resulting from collapse into an evacuated magma chamber, and also a type of volcano that doesn't have a major central vent, and has experienced major eruptions in the past.